Champa flower. You will be amazed to know that Champa flower or Plumeria plant is ranked among the most celebrated ornamental flowering plants. It is famous for its gorgeous white flowers, which emit a pleasant smell. These plants are easy to care and do not require any special maintenance. You can rely on the Champa plant to beautify the indoor spaces with its attractive appearance and top fragrance. Before going into the video, we've just printed more copies of what is probably the best plant medicine book ever written, The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. You'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies in The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies, How to Recipes of Tinctures, Teas, Decoctions, Essential Oils, Syrups, Salves, Poultices, Infusions, and many other natural remedies that our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between two and four color pictures for each plant and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So get your copy by clicking the first link in our description. Now let's get into today's video. Champa flower in English The champa flower in English is called Plumeria alba. It is an evergreen plant that is an active part of the Apisayachi family. These are residents of the tropical areas of Mexico, Polynesia, and Central America and Most people prefer keeping the Champa flower plant indoors as they adapt well to all interior decor. These plants can grow relatively tall, and that is why you need to keep a good check. The leaves of the Champa plant are oval, greenish, and leathery in texture. What is the use of Champa flower? Below mentioned are some of the unique advantages of the Champa flower plant. The oil extracted from the Champa plant is used as an antioxidant. The flowers of the Champa tree are infused and put to use in the cosmetic industry. Champa plant essential oil works as an astringent for giving relief from headaches and stress. Interestingly, the bark and different parts of the champa plant are used for curing fever, skin complaints, diarrhea, and gonorrhea. It is believed that the champa plant is considered best for treating diabetes, especially in Mexico. The plant sap is put to use for reducing inflammation that occurs after bee or wasp stings. The latex is used for curing toothache and lessening menstrual pain. How to grow champa flower? First of all, you need not require any tropical setup for growing champa or plumeria plants. For nurturing this plant in your home garden, you must be aware of the basic growing requirements. You can prefer it as a small ornamental tree that needs well draining soil, which should be slightly acidic. Some of the other growing tips include Champa flower plant requires at least 6 hours of sunlight for showcasing steady growth. These plants are tolerant of windy conditions and need to be protected from cold drafts during the winter season. If you are growing champa plant in pots, it is preferred to use a porous and coarse potting mix such as a cactus mix comprising sand and perlite. How to water champa flower? To water a champa flower plant, you need to ensure what climatic conditions the plant is put in. You need to frequently water the plant to keep it in a healthy state. For warmer regions, you have to ensure direct sunlight and simultaneously water the plants. On the other hand, for colder conditions, ensure the soil moisture should be checked before watering. Always avoid overwatering that can cause root rotting. Appropriate weather for champa flower For growing champa plants, the temperature must be warm and humid. This particular plant is tolerant to a certain amount of heat. However, they show significantly less resistance to cold conditions. Make sure you avoid keeping the plant in the outdoors during the winter season. Does champa flower need sunlight? The champa flower plant will grow better in direct sunlight. You need to position the plant at a location that receives bright light during the daytime. A partially shaded area will also work for the plant to resume its natural processes. Fertilizer for champa flower 
If you nurture the champa plant in a pot, there is a frequent need to fertilize the plant. According to gardening experts, you should fertilize the plant once in 15 days. It is better to stick to a nitrogen-rich fertilizer or any organic fertilizer. People also prefer cow dung or vermicompost for adding nourishment to the champa flower plant. The best time to add fertilizer to this plant is during the spring and summer seasons. Propagation of Champa Flower For propagation of a champa plant, stem cutting is the most suitable method. You can use a cutting of any size for propagation. The first step is to leave the cuttings for at least 3 to 5 days so that they can dry. The purpose here is to allow the development of callus. It is considered useful to permit cuttings with callus to enhance the speed of root formation. There are certain cases when root formation can get delayed. Make sure you keep the cuttings safe. Be patient as roots will develop once all the conditions are fulfilled. Pest Problems One of the best benefits of champa flower plants is that they exhibit resistance to pests and pathogens. There are rare chances when common pests attack them. To keep the plant totally safe, you can spray a mild soap solution or even prefer a pesticide. As an organic solvent, neem oil can be used. Conclusion Champa flower plant is indeed a lovely addition to your home garden that does not require much care. Plant enthusiasts admire its fragrance and medicinal benefits. Above mentioned are all the essential maintenance tips you must know for efficiently nurturing the champa flower plant. You can buy this plant from any local nursery as its popularity in India is widespread. Get your champa plant today. And don't forget to check out the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies book where you'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies on how to recipes of tinctures, teas, decoctions, essential oils, syrups, salves, poultices, infusions, and many other natural remedies that our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between two and four color pictures for each plant and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So get your copy by clicking the first link in our description.